as we get ready for district volleyball between North Broward Prep and the St. Andrews Scots first game back to North Broward here at the Global Wellness Center after Hurricane Irma. Hope that you and yours are all safe and sound as we get ready for District 5A 13 volleyball. North Broward comes into this one 0 and 5 St. Andrews 3 and 4 after dropping a four set contest to the St. John Paul II Eagles last night. North Broward Prep will start out with Italia Mangui in at Libero. For St. Andrews, it's a little bit of a different look as Catherine Aaron gets the start in a different jersey. Normally Caroline Cleveland, but Heather Shear giving the nod to, to Catherine Aaron. First year here at St. Andrews, formerly lived in Syracuse, New York, and played for James Will DeWitt High School. We're just moments away from the first serve. North Broward will be on the left side of your screen in the white, and St. Andrews on the right side of your screen in the red. Libero for North Broward, as I mentioned, Mangual will be in the blue, and Arendt will be in the white jersey with the red letter. Captain is five. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Thank you. All right. Ready to go? Ready to go. All right. There you go. North Broward in fifth place in 5A, 13. St. Andrews in fourth as North Broward looks to make up some ground here and we are about to get underway. Lily Adams will get it going for St. Andrews and away we go here from the Global Wellness Center. Maria Estevez gets the first touch at center. They're going to be playing a lot of the 6-2 formation with Estevez and Wilson trading off as setters as North Broward gets the first point of the match. We apologize for the slight delay between the video uh, that you are watching and the live audio as the camera is lagging just a tad. Hope to get that fixed for you just as soon as we can as Kelly Bishop gets the first serve for North Broward and it stays in all the way on the back row. Danielle Kim gets her first kill attempt but it was a nice play by North Broward. And it goes into the net, so it's 2-0 North Broward. Now they get out to the early lead. 25 points wins you a set, three sets wins you the match. And if we do need to go do a decisive fifth set, that will be first to 15 points. St. Andrews hits it into the net again, and North Broward off to a flying start, 3-0. Looks like Lily Adams is assuming the setting duties for St. Andrews. Her and Drew Katz both have seen time at center for the Scots, but it looks like it's Adams getting the nod, at least in the early going. Estevez for Zoe Plotkin to the back row, but Aaron is there. And Caroline Cleveland gets her first touch on the ball, keeping an eye on her all game long. Number 10 in red. She is the Scots' best player. Kim down the middle, goes long. Danielle Kim has loved to go down the middle with those kills all season, but this time she sends it just long, and the first four points of the game have all gone to North Broward. Going back to Caroline Cleveland, number 10 in red, named to the all-tournament team at the 2017 USA Volleyball Girls Junior National Championship, as Serena Martin gets the Scots on the board. So how does North Broward stop Cleveland? That's going to be a storyline all game long as Zoe Runyon will get her first action and she's going to come right into the game and serve. Didn't play at all versus Boca Raton Christian, but was 15 of 16, serving for FAU High. Estevez from Manfredi off speed, but the Scots were there. Estevez uh, digs it, Bishop, and back to Estevez. Nice play from Aaron there to keep it alive though. Adams will get it over Bishop. For Estevez, goes over on the second, but the Scots were ready. Mackenzie Coopy now with her first touch. The North Broward keeps it alive. Estevez, the back right corner for Lily Adams. And now Caroline Cleveland, but she didn't get all of it. Estevez, man, Freddie now on the right side, off speed, and that's good. Five to one, North Broward takes the early advantage. Madeline Wilson comes on for Zoe Plotkin. Wilson's first serve on the right-hand side, but Cleveland keeps it in. And now Caroline Cleveland deflected off of the block, 
And Northbound's gonna have to work to keep it alive. Good play by Maria Estevez to get the ball back into play. And then Freddie sends it over, but Adams sets it up for Kim, who keeps it in. Same exact spot as her first kill attempt, but this time she manages to just keep it on the correct side of that baseline. And so the lead is cut to five to two. Mackenzie Coopy now serving it for St. Andrews. Bishop and Wilson getting her first set opportunity. Estevez hits it into the net. I mentioned at the top of the telecast that Wilson and Estevez are going to be trading off setter duties. And you can see an early look at it there, both Estevez and Wilson getting early assist opportunities. And Wilson once again sets it up for Estevez off speed, but she sends it wide. So the lead is down to one, it's 5-4. Still very early on here in the first set. The former libero, Caitlin White, gets the dig, and now Manfredi blocked by Caroline Cleveland, and now North Broward's going to keep it in. Six to four, and the lead goes back up to two. Johanna Manfredi will serve it now. But Mackenzie Cookies dig couldn't find a Scott teammate, so the lead goes back up to three. Freddie serve goes to Coopy again. Adams, Cleveland gets a running start, but Wilson is there. Estevez, Maddie Wilson wants it back and she'll get and send it over with both hands. Adams, now setting it up down the right-hand side for Lizzie Ramage and sends it long. North Brown back to doubling up on St. Andrews. It's eight to four. Mackenzie Coopy is unable to control the dig, but what a play from Caroline Cleveland to keep it alive. Danielle Kim was unable to get it up and over, but Caroline Cleveland ran about 20 feet to keep that play alive. It's 9 to 4 North Broward. Heather Shearer wants to take a timeout. We'll step aside as well. You're watching North Broward Prep Volleyball on Bring Wash Sports Twitch TV. Welcome back to North Carolina Prep, Bay Long Sports, Switch TV. The Eagles with a 9 4 lead here in the first set over the St. Andrews Scots. And Johan Manfredi will serve as we come out of the brick. And so just it's over the net, but Caroline Cleveland able to keep it alive now. Pinned down the right hand side. Wilson setting up backside for Estevez off speed, but the Scots are able to keep it in play. Now Randall's with another try, but Wilson's there. Estevez sends it over with both arms. North Broward able to get back down. And a nice play from the Scots to keep that ball alive. Wilson for Roberta Mendez. But she hits it into the net. It was off of her back foot. And she wasn't really able to get much of anything on it. 9 to 5. North Broward leads. Colette Van Olden will come on now. And Lily Adams comes off. Drew taps with the serve. And she will assume the setter duties as Lily Adams is grabbing a breather. Wilson for Caitlin White off of the block. And it falls on North Broward's side. It's a St. Andrews point. 9 to 6. The lead is now. Drew Katz had two service errors and 10 chances against FAU High. And North Broward is unable to keep that ball up high enough for a Caitlin White kill. 
Attempt. Attempt. So falls for another save. At this point, it's 97. Katz's serve. Controlled by White. And now Estevez off for the block. But Estevez will get credit for the kill. Ten to seven. North Bower leads as Madison McEwen will come on for Kelly Bishop. The Tali and Maywall will get the service opportunity here for North Broward. And they still need ten to seven. Cass will set it up down the middle for Van Olden, and Wilson's unable to keep it alive. Ten to eight now, as North Broward just barely keeping the Scots at bay. Caroline Cleveland now will serve it. Down by two. White for Wilson and back for Caitlin White down the left hand side. Nice play from Cleveland to keep that ball alive. I don't know how many times we'll say that tonight. Estevez down the right hand side off of the block and kept alive by Cleveland. Now Wilson for Caitlin White down the left hand side long. And the lead is down to one. Cleveland isn't wearing the LaBella jersey, but she seems to be acting as a defensive specialist for St. Andrews. Man, Freddie, Estevez keeps it alive, and May well will get it up and over. Cleveland for Drew Katz, and now Martin down the left hand side blocked by Estevez, and into the net it goes, and it's 11 to 9. North Broward able to maintain their lead. And Clockett will come on now for Maddie Wilson. Estevez's serve goes to Cleveland. And now Cats for Serena Martin. Off of the block and it falls for a St. Andrews point. Back and forth these teams go. North Broward just barely able to hold on to their lead. Catherine Aarons will come on to serve it. We'll see it for North Broward how often they continue to target Cleveland on the serve. But for now it's a Scott serve. And Aaron hits it into the net. So North Broward ups their lead back to two. It's 12 to 10. St. Andrews has been very poor in the first set. Won just two of their seven first sets that they've played so far. Aaron's able to control that though. Cats for Cleveland from the back row. And White is there. Now Estevez for Zoe Plotkin sends it way long. And the lead is back down to one. Danielle Kim and Lily Adams are the Scots who come back on. And it will be Adams who serves it. Estevez, far side for Manfredi, but St. Andrews keeps it alive. Adams for Kubi, a nice play from White, keeps it in play. Adams for Serena Martin, but uh, Estevez is there. Now Mangwall, and it's going to be a free ball for North Broward, excuse me, for St. Andrews. Adams once again for Martin, and once again Estevez is there. Broward can't keep it alive though in their own half, so we're all tied up at 12. First tie of this entire match with the North Broward leading all the way at some form or another. Adams will serve it once again. White. Estevez and Zoe Plotkin down the right hand side, tried to go off speed, but couldn't get it over the net. So St. Andrews has their first lead at 13 to 12. Adams, Mangwall keeps it in play, and Estevez with a good set for Manfredi, but Aaron keeps it in play. Cleveland just gets over the net, 
And the ball bounces St. Andrew's way for 